we are going to start a new topic from this video. If you are interested in watching the previous videos in this course, the links are given in the description box. So we have learned so much about variables and data types. We know how to create string and integer variables, how to give them names and we also know how to print them really well. But why are we creating these variables? Is it to only print them? That sounds very boring, isn't it? So what are the other things we can do with these variables? So from this video onwards, I am going to show you all the fun things you can do with variables and there is so much you can do. First, let us see what we can do with integer variables. With integer variables, we can do maths calculations. Who likes maths? Raise your hand. If you like maths, you will love this topic. So let us go to Python and see some maths calculations. The simplest one that we all know is addition. So let's do that. So what do we use in maths for addition? We use a plus symbol. So here also we will use the same symbol. Okay. So let's say you have two dogs. Let us create an integer variable dogs equal to two. Now you get one cat for your birthday. Lucky you. So we write cat equal to one. Now if I ask you how many pets you have in total, you will add the dog and the cat and say that you have three pets. Can we make Python do the addition? Let's write the code to do that. So we can write pets equal to dogs plus cat. So plus is called the mathematical operator because it is used to do addition which is a mathematical calculation. So any special character which is used to do maths is called a mathematical operator. So now we created a new variable called pets. What will be the value of pets? Let's print the value of pets. So we write print pets. Save the file and run the code. So Python has added the value of dogs and cat which is 2 and 1 to get the value 3. That value is stored in the variable called pets. Since we asked Python to print pets, the value 2 is uh, sorry, the value 3 is printed as output. We can also do the addition in the pet variable with the numbers directly. Such as we can write here pets equal to 2 plus 1. So we can we remove the cats and dogs and we put 2 plus 1 directly. Now when we save the file and run the code, we will still get the same output. So we can do the addition by using integer variables or adding the numbers directly. But it is always good to follow the first method which is to use the integer variables. Now let us see how to subtract. My sister has 5 chocolates. So Sahi equal to 5. She gives me 2 chocolates. So Ani gets 2 chocolates. So Ani equal to 2. So how many chocolates are remaining? So we can write remaining underscore chocolates equal to Sahi minus Ani. Let's print the value of remaining chocolates. So we write print remaining chocolates. Now save the file and run the code. So the remaining chocolates has the value 3 which is 5 minus 2. As I told you before, we can also write remaining chocolates equal to 5 minus 2 here. So now save the file and run the code. Again, 3 is printed as the output. But as I told you before, we can do the calculations even though we can do the calculations without using the integer variables. It is always good to use the integer variables instead of using the numbers directly. So this special character which is used for subtraction is called hyphen. And this is also a mathematical operator because it helps us do subtraction. 
So we know how to write code to add and subtract variables. So here are two very simple exercises for you. For addition, can you create two variables, apples and oranges? You can give any number for it. Now, can you create another variable called total underscore fruits? The value of this variable will be equal to apples plus oranges. Then, can you print the variable total fruits? So, this is your addition exercise. Now, next exercise, you will use subtraction to calculate your age. Here, you have two variables, which is year of birth, which will be the year which you were born. It can be 2009, 2011, 2012, 2004, anything. Okay. And this year is the year we are living in. So, this will be equal to 2020. Now, can you create another variable called age? which will be equal to this year minus year of birth. So, we are minusing from 2020, we are minusing your year of birth and that will give you your age. Now, can you print the value of the variable age? So, see you in the next video. Try these uh, assignments out, the simple exercises. I will see you in the next video where we can learn how to multiply and divide. If you have any questions on this topic, please leave a comment and codepanner.com team will reply to your question. See you soon.